Our Catholic faith is filled with many exterior gestures, particularly when we come into the church for mass. Gestures like blessing ourselves with holy water when we enter the church. We genuflect to the tabernacle before we sit down. And then there are many other gestures, standing, kneeling, bowing, little signs of, we do little signs of the cross before we hear the gospel, and many other gestures. I remember telling our CCD kids about making a nice, crisp, clean sign of the cross, and how much I like to see that instead of some sloppy thing that looks like you're swatting a fly. But they're all external signs, and they're good to do them. I like them. I'm a believer in the idea that where the body goes, the spirit will follow. We bless ourselves with holy water, among other things, to remind us in a very special way of our baptism. To remind us of our identity as children of God and members of the body of Christ. When we genuflect to the tabernacle before we take our seats, it is in reverence and humility as we approach the sacred presence of Christ the King. Christ present in the Holy Eucharist because Jesus Christ is truly there. It is out of reverence out of love. We stand in respect as we, pay, as we pray or as we listen to the gospel as it is proclaimed. We kneel in worship as the holy sacrifice is confected upon this altar. We do all of these things and other gestures as external signs that reflect the inner belief and the love that we have for our Lord Jesus Christ. In ancient Judaism, and even today, they also had external rituals. External rituals that were to be followed, even in everyday life, such as washing of hands, cups, and jugs, as we heard in the gospel today. Those gestures were a good thing. They symbolized the interior desire to be clean, to be free from sin, to be pure in the eyes of God. As I said, from ancient Jews to us today, we do all of these external gestures in order to reflect an inner belief and love that we have for our Lord. At least that's what it should reflect. But there's a danger, though. And it's precisely what Jesus is speaking about today in the gospel. What he's talking, what he's, how he's calling out these Pharisees. The danger is that the external signs become more important than the inner attitude of the heart. That's the measure of what we believe or how much we love the Lord, how it is determined by our perfect adherence to these external gestures. If someone makes a perfect sign of the cross, we think, oh, that's beautiful, that's very pious. They must love the Lord very much. Or someone who serves and volunteers at Mass because they love to be seen. There are differences here. And worse, we ourselves begin to believe it or fool ourselves into believing that the perfect execution of these external rites or of our faith are a sign that we have true faith or a genuine love for the Lord. That's what the Pharisees were doing today. And that's what led them to the rebuke that Jesus gave them. Quoting from Isaiah, we heard Jesus say, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are so far away from me. They prayed all the right prayers, 
They washed their hands and all the cups. They purified everything externally. And I'm sure it was all perfectly and very beautiful. But they didn't know the Lord. And they didn't love the Lord. He concludes with these chilling words. In vain do they worship me. Because you see, it's the inner love of the Lord that really matters. It's the inner love of our Lord that will then help us with the, those external gestures. I say all the time that our Catholic faith is not about a philosophy. You've heard me hear, say this many times. It's not about a, a list of rules. Yes, we have philosophy, and yes, that's all very good, and we have plenty of rules, and those are all very good and very important, don't get me wrong. But our faith cannot be reduced or our faith cannot be defined by those rules. I might also add that our Catholic faith is not about making the sign of the cross or genuflecting or kneeling and bowing. We have all those things too and they're good. But our faith is not about them either. Our faith is about a person. That person is Jesus Christ about our love for him, our obedience to him, our faith to him. Do you see and get that the Jesus we meet in the Gospels is always exciting, always relevant to the problems and the needs of the people, always challenging to those who need to be challenged, always helping us grow where we need to grow, always open to those who seek help, always a friend to the stranger, always a support to the tired and the depressed, always an inspiration to anyone who's tried to follow him. The Jesus we meet in the gospel is the most amazing, most charismatic, most life-changing man we will ever meet. Shouldn't coming to Mass be about that encounter with Christ. Last week I gave you the state of the parish homily and during this past week I was speaking with one of our parishioners and he reminded me of something that Father David Russell used to say. He used to tell his parishioners he would ask for money or he would remind them of their duty to take care of God's house once a year. And he used to tell his parishioners, I don't want your money. I want your heart because if you give your heart to Jesus then everything else falls into place people will give and are and contribute and participate where their heart is and that's what Jesus is telling us today I want your heart because if you give me your heart everything else falls into place as important as external gestures are they are secondary to love they are secondary to obedience faith in the lord obedience and faith in the lord and those thing those things that represent that's the admonition and the lesson of these words for that jesus is teaching us today so my brothers and sisters on this 20 22nd sunday of ordinary time we're given a very important lesson be careful. Truly love Christ with all of your heart. Give your heart to him and everything else will fall into place. Because if you love the Lord and genuinely desire to serve him, then you've figured out our faith. Making the perfect sign of the cross can sometimes look sloppy. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Amen.